Welcome. We have a special treat for you. This is something that we've never done before, so I want you to pay close attention. We are downtown Asheville showcasing a condo down here. And the cool thing about this condo is this is in a building that's from 1923 and it's been totally revamped over the last two years with all the modern amenities, everything that makes you feel comfortable, but still has that rustic, urban, cool feel, all while being in downtown Asheville. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Beth Sadler, and we are going to go check out this condo in downtown Asheville that is in the heart of it all. You got the city buildings right behind us, the open green space. This is kind of the historic part of downtown. There's a lot going on. Oh, we better cross the street pretty fast. Hold on. Let's get across here. But first we want to we want to see like what is around this condo. So like if you were to live here, what you'd expect, like what would be your local haunts? How would you spend time? So walking here, we're still kind of in the early morning. Not everything is going to be open. But here is Mary Mountain's cookies. Oh, they're open. Can we look at the cookies? But I'm not going to buy anything. I just want to look at it. Oh my God, smell. We're gonna give you a salt and caramel. Our children are never allowed to come in here, just so you know. We actually should get one of these. But I'm not gonna buy anything, I just wanna look at it. Okay, that smell will do it for me. We gotta pick up a local Mountain Express. This is gonna tell you everything that's happening in Asheville, like what music is happening, what events, what art shows, things like that. I kinda want the molasses chai though. Cause it's different, you know, that's not like, okay, so I said I wasn't gonna get a cookie and I totally got a cookie. So that could be one of the dangers of living in this neighborhood. Oh, here's the AC hotel. Now, if you watched our downtown video, when I walk all around downtown, we went to the rooftop bar at the end. So you can check out that video here. And then there is one of my favorite places, Old Europe. You don't even have to get on an airplane and travel to Europe. You can just go to Old Europe. Do you want to see what it looks like inside? I just want to show you real fast because it's really cool. And there's pastries. I mean, it's like really being in Europe. Okay, now this time I can't, I'm not allowed to buy anything. Look at all that. And then there's this like, nice little terrace. And then here's Ananda Hair Studio. This is where I love to get my hair done. <gasps> oh, my favorite person is there. This is Sam, my favorite. Hello, how's it going? I'll see you soon. I'll text you um, about a time. Bye. Also a past client. And we're good buddies now. We're still on the way to the condo, don't worry. And this condo is totally worth the wait because it is totally unique for Asheville. It is a really old building. Oh, homemade gelato. This is so tempting to walk around this, this area. Okay, so it's a really old building that is from 1923, but has been absolutely converted, and you'll see it up there. So there's original stuff throughout the condo, and it, it, still, um, it still has some of those nod backs to the original time of being an automotive uh, building. But with the modern updates, they just finished the construction in 2021, so. It's fresh and new. But this would be this would be the place that you would spend most of your time too, is just walking around and being part of watch out, the outdoor scene. The outdoor scene, the downtown scene. There's a wine bar over there. Okay, so we're scoping out the condo from the outside first because we want to see what it's like. So if you look all the way up here, it's the one second from the top up there with the big windows. So we're talking like west facing sunset views, um, looking over all the downtown Nashville. And imagine, imagine 4th of July and the fireworks. Imagine all the things that you would see from this window. Almost there y'all. It's just one more block away. And we're passing some, some shops here that are really popular. We have the Ragtime Vintage Clothing and we have Sovereign Remedies which is where they make specialty cocktails. Okay, and so over here we have the Asheville Community Theater. Boom, right across the street from the condo. But look at this street, this is so cool. This is the historic part. Well, 
and from here I can see like the Jackson building and the, the city buildings and here's a dueling piano bar across the street and Vincenzo's Italiano restaurant which is absolutely amazing and then if you look to my right the main attraction 17 North Market Street this is where it's located you will have to wait no more because get ready to be impressed. So if you are thinking about moving to Asheville and you wanna figure out how to do that, give us a call, send us a text, send us an email, whatever is your pleasure, and we'll be glad to put a personalized plan together for you. We love doing it. Don't hesitate to give us a call. So, one of the things that makes this condo absolutely fabulous is its huge window in the living room. It showcases all of downtown. Over there you have the Crest building, like I was talking about. Here you have some Italian restaurants. This is, this is Broadway right here. This is the most popular street in Asheville. And next door you have the AC Hotel, which is a Marriott hotel, but one of the cool things about that, it has the most gorgeous rooftop bar um, you can imagine. That's where everybody goes to like get their photos made and have a drink and they have gas fireplaces and it's just super fun. That's where I take people when they come out of town. So just imagine having a condo right here that's totally updated, like brand spanking new, but at the same time, having that industrial feel. You have a view of Asheville. There's even a mountain view on the other side and everything's just comfy cozy. Let's go hang out in the living room. Okay, so there's a lot of cool features to this home, like the flooring here. I'm not sure if it's exactly original, but it looks original. So you have that rustic charm with the modern, um, modern style, industrial style to it. If you look at the wall here, it's all like raw wood which really adds some warmth to the area and also kind of, you know, reminds you of where you are and, and kind of the history of the building. This building that this, this condo is in used to be an old automotive building. So it's been totally transformed and it only, I think only has three floors. And there's a secret thing that we're gonna show you at the end, which is gonna tilt you over the, over the side to be like, oh my gosh, this is my thing. So there's a lot of aspects to think about uh, when you're thinking about buying a condo in Asheville, and that's kind of what we specialize in, is really creating a full holistic picture of what it would look like to live in Asheville, what it would look like to buy a home in Asheville, and all the things that you need to consider when doing that. Hi, I'm Beth Shadler and we are living in Asheville and we explore what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep, play in Asheville, North Carolina and the surrounding mountain towns. I have a real estate team here and it's our absolute passion and pleasure to help people move to the area and make sure that they understand the full process. We create a personalized plan just for you. So feel free to reach out to us anytime via email or text or give us a call, whatever you're most comfortable with, and we'll set up a time to meet with you and create that personalized plan. Let's head into the kitchen where we already are. One of the cool things about this is there's gas already hooked up. There's a gas stove. So if you like to cook, this is your deal. Uh, cabinets are all updated, beautiful. This is currently uh, an active Airbnb which in Asheville, as we know in the city limits, is not so common. It's kind of difficult, especially if you're looking at condos. But this building actually does allow for short-term rentals. So that's quite unique. And this is 17 Market Street. And they, they're not cheap, they're not cheap. You know, they, the, the, the condos in this building are not cheap. And there's a reason, which you will see a little bit later. So this is 1,200 square feet, two bedrooms, two full baths, one half bath. So let's head back. So here's like the front door. Here's the welcoming area. You can see because it is a short-term rental, they put cute little signs out to say Asheville and like welcome. So there's a little nod to the location and where you are. And then let's head back to the back bedroom. This is gonna be nice for sleeping in because there's no windows back here, but they have this really cool wall behind you. You have mountain views. Um, you wouldn't hardly even notice that there's no windows, but 
but it's really interesting. Now, something else about this building is you're gonna see some exposed ductwork because of the age of the building. And they've chosen to keep that there uh, to add that industrial feel. Comes with a bathtub. So both of the bedrooms in this condo have full baths. So you're not left alone. Let's find the hallway bathroom. Oh, here it is. Take a pop in there. I love the woodwork all throughout. And the ceilings are really high everywhere. This is a marble top. They brought in a high-end designer to make sure that whatever they put in this condo um, was really well thought out, even down to the vanities and down to uh, all the aspects of the condo. So, okay, here's another bedroom. So both bedrooms fit king size beds. So you have a lot of space. And it's gonna be really quiet here. Cause remember, we're, we're in downtown Asheville. So there's some potential for some noise. Nice big closets, wonderfully high ceilings. There's a transom window there. So you do get some light from the big window um, in the living room. And then here's the bathroom. This one doesn't have a bathtub, it has a shower. I really love, <laughs> I really love it when tile has texture and this has texture all throughout of the colors they've used in here. There are two different sinks. You gotta remember, this is already set up to be an Airbnb, so. So there's a couple of uh, advantages to that. You could rent it when you're not here, or if you're not exactly ready to make your big move to Asheville, but you want a place to stay while you come and you rent it out, this would be ideal. The other thing is, you can have your friends and family come and stay whenever you want, because if you're renting it short term, when you're not here, then you have options. You can block out dates and do whatever you need to do. So let's head back into the kitchen and the living room and go from there. Okay, so we're heading back into the kitchen, which is where everybody hangs out anyway. And there's quartz countertops all throughout the kitchen, which feel really soft and these bar stools. So you'll notice there's no like, there's a small little table over there, but I bet most of the time everybody's sitting right here because they're enjoying the view of the city. And then in the corner, you do have a smaller round table, some game set up. So, I mean, as a short-term rental, this is really important. Here's like a guidebook, sign-in sheet. Um, this is kind of all you need, especially if you don't wanna take care or have a lot of maintenance. Something like this, it's a lock and go that's in the middle of everything. You don't even need a car. Um, it's kind of the way to go, especially if you're a retiree and you don't wanna to have to worry about a lot of things or if you're not gonna be in Asheville full time. But let's go check out the other part. So if you wanna learn more about Asheville, Western North Carolina in general, use that little finger and push the subscribe button right down there. That way you can be alerted every time we make new videos for you. Trust me, you're gonna to wanna to see this stuff. So if you live here, there's like 1 million codes that you have to remember. There's the code to get in the front door, and then there's the code to get in the second front door, and then there's the code to get in your personal front door, and then there's the elevator code to get in, or get, to get onto the floor <laughs> that you wanna get onto, and then there's another elevator code to uh, get to where we're going, Shh, secret. Okay, so this comes with being a owner in this building. There's like a little wet bar up here. We are on top of the building. Why am I whispering? I don't know. I don't need a whisper here, do I? Uh, so they have a gas fireplace here, a lounge chill out area, a place that you could greet guests or meet with guests if you needed a little bit more privacy. Um, so I don't know if you, you can see back behind here because of the light, but so here we have the Renaissance Hotel. Here we have behind us Town Mountain, which is a beautiful spot to overlook Asheville. And then we have the city buildings. So you have views of the city buildings behind you, which are also iconic Asheville. Oh, here's something cool. So every owner gets a locker here. I don't know if it's every owner, I guess so. I guess they have enough, they're not all used. Gets a locker with a key or a code where you can put some drinks in there. So if you wanna come up here and have your evening cocktail, you can. So here we are, this is our big surprise. This is the roof top terrace. So if you're owner here, you have full access to this rooftop terrace where Asheville then becomes your oyster. So if you look all around here, this is absolutely stunning. 
I, I would buy this just for the just for the view. You have the Blue Ridge, you have the Blue Ridge Mountains surrounding all around here. So down here, we have the back, we have the back of the mellow mushroom, some murals. You can see there's some uh, the Momentum Gallery, an art gallery right there with solar panels on the top. Colorful buildings throughout. There's the Asheville Fish Company, established 1894. Of course, it's no longer the Asheville Fish Company. But man, look at those mountain views back there. And you know, what's great, and I mention this often, and I know you know this, is that you can be outside in Asheville three-fourths of the year. I mean, we're in November right now. I'm in, you know, a blazer and a sweater. But it's a beautiful day. And I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be like 73 today or something like that during the mid part of the day. So it's not like you're stuck inside often. I mean, like you have this rooftop, you have this rooftop terrace that you can actually really use. And like, imagine having friends out here and having a cocktail, you're like, let me go into my little locker and get a cocktail. And there's like a little wet bar there. And you have a view of all of Asheville. And what's cool too, is you just walk out your apartment building, your condo building, and you're in the heart of everything. And it's a really good side of downtown Asheville too. And why, why is it good? Good as a perspective, of course, but it's where all the action is and where the historic side is. I mean, you have the Asheville Community Theater like two blocks away, which is awesome. I mean, if you wanna to go to a really good dinner, if you wanna to go to a really good concert, if you wanna to go to a really good performance, theater performance, if you wanna go uh, to award-winning chef's restaurant, it's right down the way. If you wanna to go to the drum circle and hippie it up, you can do that. Um, you would never actually really have to leave this area if you don't want to. But if you did, the Billmore State's like, what, four minutes away? Blue Ridge Parkway is five to seven minutes away. And if you wanna learn more about Asheville in general, hit the subscribe button, it's important. Click that little bell and you'll be alerted every time we make new videos for you. From the Blue Ridge Mountains, enjoy it all.